hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can integrate active directory and ldap into rocket chat so in my previous video we already disable the new user registration so for now no user cannot register from the front end so we can import all the users through csv or we can integrate ldap so we can get automatically all the users from our active directory server okay so let's go inside the admin panel and before that you must log in with a administrator account okay so here we are logging it's very slow little bit because right now i'm running in a virtual machine this CentOS server and my other virtual machine also running because i want to demonstrate with active directory so that's why it will be a little slow go to the administration and there you will see accounts sorry there will be a separate tab yes there is a separate tab which is ldap so you go there and you know sometimes there are many settings there you can't even know that where these things are you can utilize this you can just search ldap and you can easily get that option okay so we are in the ldap tab first of all we need to make the ldap true okay then we just leave all the settings there and then we need to give the host ip address your where your active directory is hosted all right so let me just see my ad then this is my ad server right now for demo i'm using windows server 2012 but it works with all types of ad like 2016 2008 so 0173 is my ip address 0173 let's go to our CentOS server one seven three okay then port just put it three six three eighty nine okay and reconnect just hit true encryption no encryption don't use anything base dn this is important because this depends on your own settings like where how you set up the structure of your active directory user okay so first i will show you my structure and then it will give you a understanding what should be in your setting let's just open the active directory users and computer so it will be something like this okay and then you go in my case my all employees are under organization unit employee and inside there i create another organizational unit called all so i have two level ou and inside there we have all the users and these all users are created automatically through our active directory board okay and if you don't know what is active directory board just check out my previous series which i totally dedicatedly built for how to automate active directory okay so now we will take all these users right now we have 50 users and we want to import these 50 users inside rocket chat so just remember we have all employee and then our domain name is hqvfx.com let's go back to our rocket chat server and there we need to write something like ou equals to sorry ou then the first level is all okay then put one comma then again ou equals to and the second level is employee then comma then you need to put dc because we have, have we are having only two level organizational units so our domain controller is hqvfx 
and then we need to provide the extension also so dc equals to com so in your case it will be your organizational units and your domain name domain controller name so you might be your company.com or whatever it is okay so make sure the format is same then internal log level i want up to errors right let's go to the authentication just expand that and as of now let's just hit save and also i will take a new tab so in the same time we can see the users also so right click open link in new tab and here we will see all the users in our rocket chat server okay so meanwhile we can see the authentication right so we want to and user dn so when whenever you want to sync import or you want to make a connection with your ldap server you need to provide a administrator account so with that you have the access to the ad server or, or active directory server so now here to get that uh, administrator what you can use you can use almost the same example is very good because we're gonna use our default administrator account okay but example.com just we will going we are going to change this with our hqvfx.com because this is the name of our domain controller okay so it's like cn administrator cn users and also i can show you here what this is all about okay so if you go to active directory and if you go to users and here you have this administrator so basically in in rocket chat server we are providing login detail for this administrator so later this admin will sync all the users to rocket chat okay so definitely you need to provide the password and this password is your active directory administrator password hit save right now in users we only have some manual users that we created we haven't synced the active directory now so we will see in a minute let's go back to the tab again where we are setting up the ldap sync and import so expand that here you no need to change anything uh, maybe you can use default domain i'm gonna use hqvfx.com okay uh, merge existing users just make it true sync user data yes and user may feel just you can leave it now for this but this is important in in this sense like if you want to uh, display their names for example let's say cn so right now uh, let's go back to the active directory again and if you see the users so right now if we sync hq for example this user hq20 let's just open this and see the detail so hq20 is the user and the username is jasmit marva okay so we want this display name to be the display name in the chat also otherwise you know hq20 is just sync so what field you want to sync into rocket chat that flexibility also comes so you need to add some settings you need to modify little bit so let's go back to our centos server and here i'm gonna change this so instead of cn i will use display name so i want to use display name as and make sure you are using the same di display in small and then n 
capital and name so you follow this because this is ad structure naming structure so display name name so we i want like name to be mapped as name and email is fine like i don't want to change this okay because we are not storing any emails in active directory but name is i want to sync that then sync user avatar if you have you can if you don't have okay but you can just make, make it true background sync true so every 24 hours it will sync so every day if you add new users in active directory they will come inside uh your rocket chat server you can change this to every one hour or every whatever let's just leave it default i'm not changing this okay then the other settings that you can see here sync user avatar uh, maybe just you can just make it false because later we will uh, use our own method to add avatar so user cannot add their own so it will not override okay so let's just hit save we are almost done with our settings now let's go into users just make sure refresh that so we just want to make sure that there are no users still con in that uh, users tab okay it's refreshing i'm so sorry it is slow because i'm running these two virtual machines in my laptop and my laptop is honestly it's 11 i brought it in 11 so it's like almost eight years nine years old but still running okay so now settings are saved and we see here we don't have any ldap user okay so let's just go and test connection first our text our connection is success so active directory connection is perfectly fine okay authentication everything fine go up to down up to down and then this is the settings that uh, this is the option that we're gonna click now with this synchronization the sync uh, all the active directory users should come inside rocket chat so let's just hit this and synchronization in progress will message will come so now let's go here and you see here and your all users are popping up here as you can see automatically you no need to create any users their username and their display name is automatically come from active directory to rocket chat it's very easy very handy and you can see our all 50 users are imported successfully without any error without any issue very smooth okay so friends now you can select the users and also you can change their settings like go to edit and you can change their email address so it's like a normal user and their default role are users so you can change and create someone admin or you can give some privileges to those users so it's up to you so this is it for this video there are some other settings that we will cover our next video is all about permissions for these users so just follow me in my next video see you there